All right, in this video, we will discuss section 10-6 on circles and arcs. Okay, we'll talk about what a central angle is um, and how that relates to an arc. Okay, we'll talk about arcs, both what major arcs are and minor arcs are, um, how to measure arcs in degrees, and also how to find the length of an arc. Okay, by the end of this video, you should be able to know what a central angle is and how to use it to find the measure of an arc and also know how to label major arcs, minor arcs, and semicircles, and also know how to find the length of an arc when you're given a central angle and an, a radius. All right, some vocabulary, that most of which you've heard before. You know what the center of a circle is. You know what a diameter is. You know what a radius is. Okay, the only new um, vocab word that, that um, is on the slide is what a central angle is. Okay, angle APC is a central angle because it's in the center of the circle. Okay, it's made up of um, two radii, and so it's a central angle. Okay, some more vocabulary. Um, an arc is part of the circumference. So it's kind of like on the crust of the, um, of the circle. Okay, a semicircle is half of the circumference. Um, you probably know that already. Now, a minor arc is less than half of the circumference, okay? And a major arc is more than half of the circumference, okay? So if we talked about um, arc RS, okay, we're talking about this part right here, okay? Now, when we say arc RS, we want to clarify whether we, we, we mean this arc or the major arc, Okay, and although we could decide based on counterclockwise or clockwise, um, just to be super clear, we've decided that a minor arc we label um, with two letters. Okay, and those letters are the endpoints of our arc. So you can call it arc RS or arc SR. Okay, those are both minor arcs. A major arc will have three letters. Okay, um, and the first letter is where you start. The middle letter is where you go through. And the last is where you end. Oops. Okay, so major arc, STR, starts at S, goes through T, and ends at R. Okay? And you could also call it arc um, RTS if you want. The order doesn't matter. Well, you start at the first one, you go through um, the second one, you go end of the last one. But if it's reversed, that's okay. Okay, so some application questions. Their first is, what are the minor arcs of, of circle O? Now, I won't name all of them, but a couple of them are CE, okay, AD, and AC, and DE, which I think is all of them, okay, are some, some minor arcs. Notice there's two letters as I label them, okay? The semicircles in O, um, if I want to label this semicircle, although we want to say it's arc AE, but to distinguish it from the other side, I will use three letters. I will call it arc ACE, okay? Or I could label the other side and call it ADE, okay? I could also talk about semicircle DAC or semicircle DEC. Okay, um, what are the major arcs of circle O that contain point A? Now, there are lots of them, um, so I'll just give a couple. How about DAE? Starts at D, goes through A, and ends at E. I could also talk about E, D, C. Okay, starting at E, going through D, and ending at C. Now, it's true that it still contains point A, because I'm going through point A, um, but A doesn't have to be in, in, um, in the way I label it. Okay, you could also talk about arc A, um, C, D. Okay, starting at A, going through C, and going through C, ending at D, it still contains um, point A. 
Okay, how you measure arcs. We've talked about arcs, um, what they are, um, major, minor, okay? Arcs can be measured in two ways, in degrees or in the length, okay? If the question is asked, what's the measure of the arc, we mean um, what's the, the angle measure of the arc. If the question is asked, what is the length of the arc, you'll find the length, okay? Now, the measure of an arc in degrees is the same as the measure of the central angle. So if this central angle is 50 degrees, then arc RT has a measure of 50 degrees as well. Okay, it's always the same as the central angle. This angle over here is 360 minus, one, minus 50, which is um, 310. And so this arc, the major arc over here, has a measure of 310. All right, a couple other examples. What is the measure of each arc in circle O? BC um, has an arc of um, 32 degrees. Right here, it's 32 degrees. It's the same as the central angle. Okay, BD, which combines arcs BC and arc um, CD, is 90 degrees. Okay, um, arc ABC. A, B, C is a, is a semicircle, so it's 180 degrees, and arc A, B, let's see here, A, B, so your A, B, C is 180 degrees. Now I don't want to include B, C, so if I subtract that, I'm left with 148. Okay, so um, arc BA is 148 degrees. Okay, now measuring the arc in length, in a length, okay, um, the circumference to, let me remind you, the circumference of a circle is either pi times D, pi times the diameter, or 2 pi R. So well, let's look at this circle, and I ask the question of what is the circumference of this circle, okay? And we're going to get used to giving our answer in terms of pi. You may not have done that before, but we'll leave pi in our answer, won't multiply it in and get a decimal answer, okay? So the circumference is, I'm given the radius, so I'll use 2 pi r, okay? And the radius is 4 inches, okay? So I get 8 pi inches as my answer. Now I don't multiply it out and get uh, the decimal answer, I'll just leave it in terms of pi. Okay, B, what is the circumference of one-fourth of this circle? Meaning this arc right here, this minor arc, what is the length of this arc? Well, it's one-fourth of the circumference. So I will find one-fourth times the circumference. Now I found just found the circumference is 8 pi. And I'll leave my answer in terms of pi. So 1 fourth of 8 is 1 fourth times 8, which is 2. So it's 2 pi inches. Okay. Now let me point out a really important thing is that we found this is the fraction of the whole circle times the circumference. And that has given me the, the, um, the length of that arc. Um, C, what is the circumference of 1 sixth of this circle? Again, I will take this, the fraction 1 sixth and multiply that by the circumference, 8 pi. And 1 sixth times 8 is 1.3 repeating pi, or leaving as a fraction is 4 thirds pi inches. Okay, now that kind of leads us into a formula. Okay, if the length of, a, of an arc of a circle, sorry, the length of an arc of a circle is the product of the ratio or the fraction of the circle and the circumference of the circle. Okay, so this part right here, this fraction, gives you um, the fraction of the circle. Okay, and this is the circumference. of the circle. Okay, now you could use um, 